Hello, Brian Myers here with Winning Solutions, Inc., and I've got another access tutorial for you today. Uh, we're actually going to cover a couple of things, but the main idea is how to download and install one of our database templates from our Microsoft Access website. I've got uh, Microsoft Access uh, microsoftaccessexpert.com open here, and I'm going to scroll down to our section here with the database templates. And the one we're going to look at today is the Access Calendar Scheduling Database. And you can read up here on some information about how useful this uh, tool is. You can record uh, uh, different uh, meetings or whatnot, uh, plans that you have throughout the day, week, month, and year. Um, you can also then print those off if you like. What we're going to do first is head down here to the demo section. This is These are just demo versions of the application so that you can test them out and see if they're going to work for you. You can also scroll down further and buy uh, versions that will actually store information to the the database if you'd like. So the first thing we're going to look at is you need to know which version of Access that you have. Um, you'll want to download either the Access 2007 or 2010 version if those are the versions that you have, or you can also download an Access 2010 64-bit version, or for earlier uh, Access users you can download the 2002 or 2003 file. So I have Access 2010 32-bit uh, installed, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and download it. And down here it says that I've got it downloaded. And I'm going to click on it and say Show in Folder. You can also just navigate to your Downloads folder. Um, and what we've downloaded here is actually a compressed zip file. You can see that in the file type here. And just because it's easier for me, I'm going to drag this to my desktop so I can use it there, and then I no longer need uh, my downloads folder open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this file and say Extract All. And by default, it's going to create a folder in the directory that uh, the zip file's in, which happens to be my desktop. And then I'm going to have it show the extracted files when done. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that, and there we go. It's been extracted. So now we can double click on this file, which will open up Access, and look at this. We get a Microsoft Access security notice. This isn't harmful. This program isn't harmful. Uh, what this is saying is just that uh, the file has not been added to the trusted locations, and we'll go through that process after we open it up, and we'll be able to remove this notice from any time we use that application in the, f in the future. So we'll go ahead and click Open. And the first thing we're going to do is, is set that trusted location so we don't get that error anymore. And if we click over on the File tab, we've got an Options button here. I'm going to click on that Options button, and we get a couple more options over here to the left. And the one we want to focus on is this Trust Center option. So after clicking on that, you got some more information here, we we'll want to cl click on the Trust Center Settings button. Then, well, I promise this is getting, we're getting to the end of this, the trusted locations option is what we want from this left navigation. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the location of that file to the trusted locations. So we're going to click add new file, location, and we're going to browse, and I put that on my desktop, in the access calendar demo folder. And I'm going to say OK, and we'll go ahead and click the subfolders on this location are also trusted. You can add a description if you want so that you know what it's for later on. I'm not going to do that at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, click OK, click OK. And then just to show you that that error or that uh, notification no longer comes up, I'm going to go ahead and close out access, come back over to the folder on my desktop and double click, and now you'll see you don't get that security notice. So now let's get into this application and take a look at it here. It's got a calendar view, and we can look at day, uh, or by week, or by month. We can also change which month we're looking at by using the arrow keys here. We can also change the day if we're on the day page. So what I'm going to do is it's about 3.30 here. I'm going to enter something here for 3.30. I'm going to say subject, how about Microsoft Access Recording. This is at the WSI Ames location. And it's not going to take quite a half an hour. We'll go ahead and leave that the same. Recording a tutorial 
four micros. Oop, better capitalize that. And then we'll go ahead and click save and close. Now you'll see we've got that listed there. Um, and what we can do is if we want to edit that, we can double click on it. We can make some changes to it. We can save and close. I'm not going to make any changes right now, so I'm going to end up hitting cancel. But you can also delete that event as well. And it's also nice to note that there is a reoccurring option with this application. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close. And if we jump over to week view, we'll see that, uh, you know, on Monday here, I've got this Microsoft Access uh, recording session. I can also jump over to month and we can see it there as well. Um, we can double click on it and bring it up. So if we want to make any edits, then the other thing we can do here is we can print this so we can have a list of the events that we have going on for any particular day. Um, we'll go ahead and close that out. And that is pretty much the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions about Microsoft Access or uh, need further information on this particular application, please feel free to con contact us by any of the methods listed in the description below, or you can leave a comment. Please remember to subscribe. You can hit us up also on uh, Twitter at WSI Tech or on Facebook. Thanks and have a great day.